Hi, YouTube. Hey, YouTube friends and family. It's your boy, GB Reviews. And today we're gonna do a sun basket meal. I'm gonna do a stew. I've not done stews before. We're gonna do this provincial, um, it's called a provincial stew with, um, it says your choice of protein, but I'm gonna do it with beef, obviously. And um, I'm gonna walk you through all the steps I'm gonna talk you through the steps first and then I'm gonna go through the steps but I'll speed that up so you don't have to watch that. And then what we'll do is we'll slow it down when I have to talk through the cooking steps and then finally we'll plate it and then we'll be good to go. And then I'll let you know how everything tastes based on their instructions on getting it done. So uh, thank you for rocking with me. Um, right in the beginning of this video, please hit the like button so we can push this algorithm out so we can get more people. Um, remember that the referral codes are in the bottom, so if you definitely want to do Sun Basket meals, you can do Sun Basket meals, and I think you get like $35 or $40 off if you use the referral code that I have in my link. So anyway, uh, with that, let's get out. So I'm going to walk you through the ingredients that you have to have for this provincial stew that we're going to make. So you need waxy potatoes, and we're going to cut these into like strips. You need an organic onion, organic tarragon, um, so you can see that. Um, you have your beef here, which we're putting in there, organic carrots, your chicken broth. Um, this is a Sun Basket spicy stew blend, but just if you don't have this, it's just onion powder, ground garlic, and sweet smoked paprika. And then you have all purpose flour, and then of course, like I said, your chicken broth. Uh, you need your handy dandy knives, kitchen shears, and then we're gonna just rock this out. Like, so I, I'm gonna just run through everything, how to do it. We're gonna prep and brown our protein first, and then we're gonna prepare our ingredients. So, all right, let's go. So the first step of the process is, you know, you saw the ingredients, you're gonna prepare your protein. So in this steak, I'm using, I mean, in this in this case, I'm using uh, filet mignon. So what I would have done, or what I would have shown you is, I just prepared my meat ahead of time, but, uh, and I'm trying to, the reason I do that is because it just cuts down the steps. But um, what I had to do is I had to cut it into one inch pieces. So I used my knife to cut everything into one inch pieces. I'll show you cutting the vegetables, but you want to make sure that they're basically stew size pieces when you're cutting this. Um, they should be just small. So when they cook up in your stew, there's not, you don't have like these gigantic pieces in your stew. So it should just be small pieces. And then um, now we're going to go, we're going to use a medium uh, sauce pot on medium high heat, we're gonna warm with one or two tablespoons of oil. I'm gonna use olive oil, but you can use uh, regular canola oil. And then you want the oil to be hot, but not smoking. So you're gonna let it get hot first. And then we're gonna add our protein in there and we're gonna lightly brown it, but we're not gonna cook it all the way through. So I'm gonna show you that step. <clears throat> and then I'll come back uh, once we do that part. Because once you do that, we're gonna do that for one or two minutes. And then we're gonna pull it out. We're gonna just put it on the side. So you're not gonna do anything, but put it on a plate. And then after that, we'll go into the prepping of the vegetables after that. So let's move over to the stove and then we can start with the uh, cooking of the meat. So now that we're back from preparing our meat, um, we now have to peel our onion. We're gonna have to coarsely chop it. Um, for that, I'm gonna use a heavy knife just cause it's easier. I find to cut like kind of tough vegetables with the heavy knife. The ceramic knife, while really sharp, it just doesn't have the weight of, um, it doesn't have the weight of the, of the metal knife. And so a, a good uh, 12 inch cutting knife is just so much better for things that I have to do. So we're gonna coarsely chop this. We're gonna cut it in half first, and then we're gonna coarsely chop this. So that's coarsely chopped. And now I'm, I'm not gonna talk to you anymore. I'm gonna prepare all the vegetables. Watch me go through it. We're gonna prepare the carrots, the potatoes, and the tarragon. With the tarragon, the thing you wanna remember with the tarragon is you wanna strip the tarragon of the leaves and the stems, and you wanna coarsely chop the leaves. And then you're gonna set aside one teaspoon of the leaves for garnish. So that's all you have to remember, one teaspoon of the leaves for gar garnish. The carrots you're gonna scrub and peel. You wanna cut the ends and you wanna make three quarter inch pieces for the soup. And then for the um, potatoes, you're gonna scrub, peel, and you're gonna cut the potatoes into one and a half inch pieces. Oh no, excuse me, half inch pieces. 
and that's it. So we're not going to talk anymore. I'm just going to start cutting up stuff and putting stuff in bowls. So we'll watch me go through it and then we'll get to the third step of cooking the broth. The final step is to add your meat to your soup and then you're going to let this cook for five minutes, five to six minutes, but really you want to let it cook until your vegetables are tender. So we're going to let this cook and then once our vegetables are tender and the meat is done, we can eat. One hour later. So we plated it um, and I dropped the pictures in just because the soup so I can't really hold it for it so you can see it but um, I plated it it looks like this um, so you can see provincial stew with uh, sirloin and so now we're gonna taste it we're gonna see what it tastes like so one thing I will say about the instructions on this and the recipe um, it's not really true to life because it says 25 to 40 minutes and actually the preparation of the of the ingredients doesn't necessarily take that long but what I'm what I found is when you're cooking the soup part the to get the vegetables to the right consistency of softness it actually takes way longer than um, the five to ten minutes that they are saying in the recipe you probably need more like um, maybe like 50 minutes to an hour and really soups I don't know if you haven't had experience with cooking soups soups just tend to be better the longer they cook because they just allow a lot of the um, the kind of the seasoning to get into the vegetables and into the meat. So we're gonna try this out. Um, I've cooked this for two hours. So just so you know, it's, um, I just wanted it to be a nice soft vegetable, not crunchy at all. Um, when I first tried it based on their timetable, the vegetables were too hard. They were crunchy, the potatoes weren't quite cooked enough. 
the carrots weren't cooked enough. So that's something to just kind of just be mindful of. Uh, most of the sun basket recipes are true to life in terms of the timing, but for soups, um, I don't think that they, some somewhere along the line, I don't think that they really estimated how long it actually takes to make the vegetables soft. So I have a knife and I mean, uh, excuse me, I have um, a fork and a spoon only because there's, I had sirloin in here, so I needed the fork for the sirloin. So let's see how this tastes. That's nice and it's a bit spicy. And what I like about the tarragon, the tarragon gives it a nice kind of like fresh taste. So this is a provincial stew. I, 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 I think from the recipe, it's a French recipe. I like it. It's a little spicy, but I would probably prefer it to be a little bit spicier. But like I said, once you cook it for two hours, the vegetables are really nice. If you look at the carrots, I can mash it without chewing it. And that's what you want. You want your vegetables where they're soft enough where you can mash it with the palate of your mouth without actually having to chew the vegetables. And then the consistency, I don't know if you can tell, but the consistency is like a soup or a gruel. It turned out really well. I think this would be a nice meal. It's not, for me, it's not necessarily a summertime meal. It's more so like a, a fall meal. It's, it's very hearty and filling. Even a wintertime meal, this would be good for. So I'm, um, in terms of uh, rating for this, I would give this probably a B, B minus. Um, just because it's not, even though it's in the summer rotation, it's not something I probably would make a soup like this in the summer. It's just a very hearty soup. And it's more so like you'd want to eat it in the wintertime. Now, that being said, it's a very, it's a very filling meal. Um, again, it has sirloin in it. It has potatoes and carrots. So it is, this soup is truly a meal. So I would say definitely if you're thinking about making this for you, for you or for your family, just it's a dinner time thing it's definitely not a lunch time thing it's not something that um, you would eat in passing so with that i'm going to end the video i thank you guys for rocking with me please again hit the notification bell so you can see when my other videos come out but also hit the like button for the algorithm um, i ask you to subscribe to my channel and also leave comments down below if you've tried this meal or you have other meal services delivery services that you want me to try i am all for it because we're trying to like adapt to these times and having fresh organic products sent to your house just makes it super easy, makes it easier for you to social distance and not actually have to go to the store to buy all these things. Even though with the recipe card, it gives you basically all the rest, all the ingredients that you need so that if you wanna to go to the store and purchase them afterwards, like you've done it once, you can do it again and you can make this yourself. So with that, it's your boy GB Reviews. I thank you for rocking with me. Um, I'll catch you next time. Subscribe, like below, and I'm out. Subscribe, but like, but no.